Okay, day two, MB02 2019, 11th of January 2019, Friday, 06, 17 hours. There's a tree still up. This is the centre of Gloucester. There's my bacon roll and coffee. And there is spoons. I think I got the situation well under control at the moment. Well, I'm not sure what he's doing. X Cinema. And there's some debating society boys in there already. There's a gorilla. There's a skyline, as it's an old cinema. And that orange juice. The bar actually opens at 8 o'clock here. Uh, this is Panacea by Silopium. We like Silopium, 5% alcohol by volume. It smells citrusy. Cheers, citrusy, grapefruity. And really rather bitter. That gets right to the case of it. Cast scale, really good, B++. And we're off. You can see me better now. And... Right, okay, under the beer. Munster are in town. Um, tons of Irish people. All drinking fine ales. Actually not depressing, but in cause. Anyway, this is Black Knight by Goff's Brewery, G-O-F-F-S. Ruby Red Porter weighing in at 5.3% alcohol by volume. Yummy. Uh, Carbon, Mr. Manning. Not so reds and pinks. Oh, wow. Full body. Coffee, bird notes. That is a solid. Touch of chocolate in there. <laughs> Not much of a bit of finish. Beef less than a bit. The sun is out, so the gorilla is even more lit. Anyway, because it's Friday, he says, trying to get the phone to open up, I've ordered an all day brunch. This is Horbury Lion, F O R B U R Y. By Lodden, 5.5% alcohol by volume, it says. Strong IPA. IPAs are supposed to be strong. Maybe. There's the condiments. Mm. Strong. Sweet, malty, slightly fruity, hint of bitter. Quite different, actually. B plus in a bit. As recommended by Mr. Buckley. And um, craft beers. Oh, it's getting good. Old school. And I'd say a navy pub. And bass. 4.4% alcohol by volume. Calling old mudgy. <laughs> I'll tweak it. I'd say B plus, but my memory says it was a lot better. Ooh, BT Home Hub. <coughs> Craft beers and cider. I recognise that tune. I think I'll have a crack. Let's start with the carpet for Mr. Manning. Carpet, flags, wood. I don't know, this has got the feeling of a Stonegate pub about it. So, Stuart Brewing, First World Problems. Belgian IPA, 6.2% alcohol by volume. The glass came out of a freezer. Oops, hiccups. 
and the can is rather cold. So we might come back to this one, review wise. There's a hoppy fruity aroma. Oh, it's full of malty. And it has a touch of fruit about it. If I don't come back, it's been plus in a bit. TLDR, because it's excellent. Gloucester Brewery. Gloucester Rugby. It's full of Munster. Luckily, I'm a neutral, so I don't care. However, oh no, the beer's disappeared. Stick my face in the way. Oh gosh, this happens. That's a nice glass. This is Session EPA Halo. Probably Halo on untapped. Cross Bay Brewing. 3.6% alcohol by volume. Bricks, Mr. Manning. Bricks. This is a great place. We did a bit of an audio this morning. Um, if you're on Twitter, at RWNASH. It's there somewhere. Oh, it's not bad. The fruitiness. B plus in a bit. <laughs> it's that spring deity from the Gloucester Brewery. 4.5% alcohol by volume. <clears throat> Belgian wit. New world and hazy. Hazy it is. Yeah, it smells sort of bubble gumish. Oh, sharp, tingly, fruity, and bubble gum. Keep passing the bit.